friends, yes, it is getting colder out there. And if you're on the hunt for a new winter jacket, chances are you're looking into a puffer jacket to stay warm. We're all wearing them. So Eva Gravesic is here to share what you need to know before you buy one. And we're going to start with the fundamentals. Yes, so we we're actually going to start with what puffers are made of. So puffer jackets are simply a quilted jacket. Yes. And within that quilting section is insulation. So whether that be... Putting some yeah, on? let's put yeah. some on. So put whether that on. be a duck or goose down, which you are wearing, or a synthetic fiber that I'm wearing, that traps in warm air, uh -huh. keeps cold air out, and that's why they're so warm, and that's why they're so light. Mm. It's all of that filling and insulation in there that keeps us warm. Well, let me tell you, wearing a faux leather dress with a puffer coat, <laughs> I can feel the heat <laughs> in here. Well, okay, so I said that you were wearing a down coat. So yeah. think about down, pound for pound, it is warmer than synthetic. Yeah. It's also a bit heavier, but not where you're really gonna notice. Right. And it does cost more because it's a down product. Okay. Whereas synthetics, they're vegan options, so yeah. I'm wearing one from Noise. Mm -hmm. um, they are better if it gets wet outside. Okay. And they dry quicker. So if you are in a wet climate or you tend to sweat a lot, synthetic yeah. might be your best option. See, that's good to know. Yes. I wouldn't have known the difference between the two. And of course, we have super wet yes, and super do. cold falls, springs, yep. so and winters. Okay, so the next thing we want to look into is um, the stitch and how sort of puffy is the puffer, yes. right? So the biggest complaint about puffer coats yeah. Is the fact that they are puffy. So you feel like the Michelin man. Yeah. And the reason they're so puffy is because of the way they're stitched. However, now that we're getting more into fashion uh -huh. and wanting to make sure that we look our best, it's about how they're stitched. So with Tracy's coat, mm -hmm. you can see how that stitching really like elongates her waist. You know, tucks her in. You want to turn around, Trace? Well, I'm, I'm doing back. some city line modeling right now. <laughs> I love it. I'm quite even, enjoying this. Even the back is stitched. So right? it's not as puffy. It's not that big, huge, you know, horizontal puff around. And I'm wearing one that has a diamond. I love that stitching color. On it. So the green is really great. If you, again, you see how it is stitched. So it really shows off your waist. Yeah. This isn't as rounded yeah. as a typical puffy jacket. Yes. So if, ladies, if you don't want to wear something really big, yeah. make sure it's stitched along your body. Because okay. that's going to make it look sleek. It's going to make it look pretty. Yes. And that is where you won't feel like the Michelin man. That's interesting. Because for so for so long, I was staying away from a puffer. I wanted one because they're very good utilitarian yes. pieces, like jackets to have. But it took them forever to start making them tailored. Because it Now was, they're tailored. Yeah, now, now you can they have are. a waist. And I, I, and I could see all of your curves. Right? All of your glory. Yeah. That's, that's the great thing about a puffer coat. Beautiful. Okay, so next up, let's talk a little bit uh, about the length. So for me, when I'm going to the gym and stuff and I just want something to throw on super quick and I'm going to be coming in and out of the car, I don't mind a shorter thing. And for sure, my daughter, who just wants all of her skin out these days. Yep. <laughs> She would love, she likes the shorter the one, short right? One. Well, and here's the thing too. So the shorter ones, if you want to have fun with color and pattern, yeah. I would recommend a short one. It's really pretty. You're having fun with them. And those are fashion. Yes. Where the long ones are great for dog walking. That's right up my alley, If girl. you're going to be working downtown, yeah. like and you're going to be in a wind tunnel, I would really look at a long one. Yes. And these days when I go to the mall, it's like I don't want any jacket at all. No, you don't. And that's the where the thin one possible. comes in. So that's Perfect what we're going to talk about yes. now. Perfect segue. So thin coats, it really is about the fluffiness of the down. Yeah. The fluffier it is, the warmer you feel. Mm -hmm. And a fill power of 750 to 900 really is the premium spot. So these okay. are premium down jackets at yeah. 750 fill power from Uniqlo, but they're very light. Yet very light. Very light. So think about if you're going traveling. Yep. If you want to add some extra insulation, like if you have a wool coat or if you have a trench coat, yeah. something where you want to add an extra layer of heat, this is where this thin piece really comes in. Yeah. And what's great about them, if you open yours up and open mine up, there oh. is a little travel pouch. So if you're going to be going anywhere, you throw your coat in your yeah. pouch. You put it away, you pack it up, and you go. This would be me in the middle of yes. the mall. I'm like, store number three! It's going in the pouch! Too hot! I gotta take it off. Yeah, exactly. Really good! Yeah. Good lesson on the puffers, and great tips there. Thank you so much, Eva. Time for a break. See you on the other side.